um, Diego, you're going to pop up next, and we're going to go in flight, I think, with the Andean Condor. Is that correct? Yes. Uh, one second, let me share. Okay. Uh, my name is Diego. I'm from Peru, and I work, I'm, I'm currently working with the MoveBank project. If you work with animal tracking, you probably use MoveBank. Uh, it's a repository built by uh, North Car Car Carolina uh, State U University and the Max Planck Institute of Animal Behavior. So we are currently co co collaborating with the Peruvian authorities uh, and their main job is to rescue wildlife from trafficking or human wildlife conflict. And in some cases they're able to release them in, in, immediately. And in other cases, uh, they, they have to rehabilitate and then uh, run a re re release uh, pro program. And in that case, we're currently working with them, mainly with Andean condors, because we have a GPS tags for, for them. Uh, we were trying to capture them to mon monitor wild ones, but it's really hard to capture Andean condors. And we had the, the chance to tag re rehabilitated ones. So this started a, a cool project. Uh, first of all, why do they rescue and rehabilitate uh, condors? Condors in Peru are trapped by by locals for something called the Jaguar Fiesta. Uh, there's a book about it by 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 a local writer. Uh, basically, what people do is they trap one condor, they sew it uh, with needles, uh, needles and thread to the to the leather of the or the skin of, of, of a bull. And it's sort of a bullfighting uh, celebration that they have in which the Andean gods fight the Spaniard uh, bulls, basically. So it's something that uh, re relates to the colonization. It's really brutal. Sometimes the condor dies. Sometimes the, the condor is really left uh, very e injured. And yeah, so they capture them for this. and. Serfor, which is the local authorities uh, for for the wildlife, uh, they rescue them, and if they are able to rehabilitate them, then we're able to tag them and release them. Another reason why they uh, trap condors is because uh, cattle pre 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 predation. Uh, this is one of the videos of one of our trapping attempts. Uh, these are like thirty condors in a trap, uh, but. We are habituating the condor, so we are not able to trap them in this moment. Uh, but it's known that condors, uh, let me mute this. Yeah, it's known that, that condors are scavengers, but they they are also able to kill calves. Like when, when they are new, newly born, they, they are able to kill them, which there's a lot of debate uh, on the scientific co community, but locals, authorities, and there's even video footage of condors killing calves. So yeah, they, they do kill and eat the calves. Uh, another reason is power lines. I don't know if you can see in the video, uh, if you can see my, my mouse, hopefully, uh, there's these power lines, there's condors flying. Uh, yeah, and they're really close to us and they're also re really close to these pa pa power lines. You can see the tower here. And this is a really hot spot for condors, like 80 condors come here every day and they fly around these cables and sometimes they crash into them and they land on the ground. They can die or they can be re rescued. So yeah, this is why we have news. Of, this is a, a major from Apurima caught a condor for a Jaguar Fiesta and he's par parading the condor, like his pet condor on, uh, on the street and they were able to, to rescue it. Uh, this is another condor that was intoxicated because they poisoned them for the because of the cattle pre predation, uh, so the the uh, ranchers poisoned them. And this is another condor that it was re rescued. It, it's a a chick. Uh, so yeah, condors are rescued every once in a while, and if they're able to be rehabilitated and released, we're able to 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 tag them. So these are two condors that the that, that, that we tagged. Uh, the first one is called Kapak and the second one is called Apu Sinch. Uh, yeah, so using a a Animal Tracker, we are, we are able to 
to track them. If you know Animal Tracker, it's a, a free app you can da download for, from the Google Play Store or App Store. Uh, this data is private because it's government data, basically. Uh, and the condor is a sensible species. But there's many other species that, that, that are free to, to view. Uh, yeah. So something we can do, and we do with the authorities, or we're trying to do this, because we, we, we currently have three tag condors. And using Animal Tracker, we can use geofencing. And this means that we can create a polygon. And when the condor enters this polygon, we get a notification on, on our phone. So one thing we want to do is uh, when a condor is going near an area that we know uh, there's a com community or ranchers that poison them, and we're not able to work with them to stop poisoning them, then we can get a, a warning like, hey, this, this condor is entered in this dangerous area. So the authorities can be maybe uh, alert up, uh, regarding this. We also want to work uh, with pumas uh, and other conflict animals in this, uh, creating geofencing, uh, tracking colors. So the uh, authorities know that there's a puma or a jaguar entering a cattle ranching area, and they can work with locals so they can uh, like secure their cattle or whatever. Uh, another thing we, we, we are doing is that uh, sleeping sites or roosting sites of the condors are poorly known in, in Peru. I think there's only two uh, published nests in the whole of history of Peru for, for, for decades. Uh, the locals know where, where they are, but the researchers and the authorities, they don't. They don't. And the sleeping sites are also very crucial for, for, for the condors. They allow us to count them for properly for, for census, uh, to create sustainable tu tu tourism, and we can protect the, the, the area. As, as, as you saw be be before, there was this power line uh, that, that was really near this uh, crucial area for, for the condors that was made before. They knew it was an important place. So using the trackers, we can know where the condors are sleeping. We also train the authorities uh, for or use of move bank, move apps, so they can actually do it themselves. Uh, yeah, this is a training program. And yeah, thank you. This is a, a dancer from the Kolka Canyon that dresses as a condor. And we were able to meet him uh, on, 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 a, on a condor uh, festival thing during one of the re 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 releases. Uh, and this is my team, uh, Giancarlo, Rodos Elvira, and, my, and myself. Uh, so yeah, I don't know if I have time for questions. I think I went over the line, sorry. That was wonderful. Thank you so much. I think that's the first time I've seen Move Apps in action as well, which was awesome. Um, Rob has the same question as I do. Um, Rob, do you want to ask it? Um, yeah, thank you, Diego. That's, I mean, very awful in a lot of ways to hear all the terrible things that humans do of course all over the world it's the same i just was wondering uh what particular type of tracker or trackers do you use i noticed you said gsm trackers mm, yeah but is are so, you yeah, making... no we 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 currently have a, a project where we use sigfox trackers uh sigfox oh, is okay. an iot net network uh, and yeah. they are built uh, in, in Max Planck uh, in Institute. But for, for condors, we cannot use Sigfox because the Sigfox net network uh, only reaches, uh, I guess, uh, field of sight. And it, the, the Andes is, there's a lot of mountains. So the only networks available are within cities. Uh, with GSM, we can track condors when they're flying uh, really high up. Uh, we don't need sat sat satellite. Uh, because GSM network reaches uh, really high up in, in the sky. Uh, sometimes we're not able to to get data from for one from one of them for like I think one was lost for like five months. I don't know where it was, and then it came back, and we were able to to get to know that it's still alive, right? But the 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 other two we are getting good data uh, with 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 GSM. Wait, and but is Max if, Planck... if, Sorry, Rob, you go. No, I was going to say, is Max Planck making the GSM ones as well, or are you? No, uh, it's e EOPS, EOPS, EOPS trackers. Yep. The brand is EOPS. 
I That's the one we're using for I Condors. Know whether I know them. Okay, thanks. Me neither. It's, it's it German, really cool. I think. Um, it would be really cool if we could, um, we have a, a project called the Inventory, which is a big wiki site for conservation tech. It would be awesome if you could add your tags in there and like leave a review of how they're working for you just to make them more, um, more uh, info more accessible. There are a couple of questions for you, Diego, in the chat. I'm going to pop you into the chat to pick them up. Mm -hmm.